What up, it's me, A to Z, and we're back for more Pokemon Black. Last time, we arrived back at Appaloosa City, we headed out to the west to explore the newly opened Challenger's Cave. We had quite a challenge. A lot of those trainers were indeed asking for a challenge. We got some good training in, we found TM71 Stone Edge, an excellent move. And now, with not much left to do in the post game, I think we're just going to do some, some final cleanup. So as you'll remember, when we came back home, the very intrepid, very suave looker asked us to hunt for the remaining six sages since Gets has disappeared. So I think this episode we are going to start our hunt for the sages. I still have gold up with me because I still need HMs. So, our first destination, Striton City. I know, we haven't been here in, in, in a long while. It's been a long time since we've been to Striton City. <laughs> Way back when. Who remembers this town? <laughs> Remember this school? Remember when we needed to be schooled? Oh, the good old days. Anyway, so. We're back here in Striton City. Our destination to find the first sage is here at the Dream Yard. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a repel very I need cut. Or do I? Do I need cut? I don't think I need cut. I think what I need to do Yeah, I don't need cut. Perfect. I only need to cut for that first portion. Thank god, I would have felt stupid if I actually needed cut. Alright, so what we wanna do is now we go through here to a place we couldn't go through before. And we'll see that. Oh, actually, can we? No, we can't. We do have to go through the this way. But you'll see there are stairs here that were not available to us before. We can now go down these stairs. Let me switch up my team around. Let me get Polly out front. All right. If, if I need to have Kevin fight, I'll have him fight. But let's get Polly out front. And here we are at the basement of the Dream Yard, a whole new area. So this place is a little bit unsettling, and it's got trainers here. Now there are some new Pokemon. There are four new Pokemon. I'm not going over them. They suck. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of what they are, they're Raticate, Ledian, Ariados, and I'm d I'll just post like the, the pictures of them on screen. And they're all just notoriously bad Pokemon. And the fact that you're getting them now in the post game, like what the shit? It's the reason I didn't go over a uh, beat like Metapod and uh Metapod and Kakuna when we were in Route 12. There's no reason. There's no point to it because they're just bad. It's, it's it's embarrassing the fact that you you know that you can catch such pathetically weak Pokemon now. I'm sounding like a dick right now, but no, no, it's just it's true though. They're bad, especially when I have when I got Polly over here, who's one hit killing things like a boss. And Jesus, I almost want to send Tony out right now, but no, Polly Polly's doing a good job of this right now. Whatever, Polly, just keep exercising. <laughs> We don't need these weak Pokemon or anything. I'm gonna try to avoid the rest of these trainers and get through this dream yard as fast as I can. You know, because again, we are here to find some sages. I cannot help but wonder, why did I lose? Because you all have Pokemon of one because you have Pokemon that are all one type. Okay. I'll never understand. I'll never understand why trainers find it necessary to just use Pokemon of the same type. Don't they realize that when they're fighting something that just has, you know, okay. Careful, careful. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking running. I could have been really slick about it. Whatever. For my research on dreams, I will research your dream. Okay, I'm gonna need you to sit here on this chair. You know, strap yourselves down. Uh, sign this waiver in case anything happens. Jiggly. <laughs> Jiggly buff. And how, how's your bottom tier friend doing? Uh, let's see. Polly. Don't chop him up. Don't chop him up. Go ahead. Just go ahead and. Or, yeah. I'll never understand why scientists use items. But yeah, again. Trainers that use the same type of Pokemon. I guess this goes to gym leaders as well. But you just realize, compared to the concept of a balanced team, it doesn't work. It, it doesn't work because, you know, say you're a, a whole, you know, rock and, or ground type trainer, and then somebody has a Gyarados. Or, you know, a water. The Gyarados is a bad example because it's weak to rock types. But still, imagine you have like a Blastoise and you're fighting a team of all rock that didn't. That was my hand hitting my desk, because stupidity happened. Polly, wake up. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and... Polly, I'm gonna need you to... WAKE UP! GRAB A BUNCH OF BUNCH OF BUNCH OF When was the last time I did a chop suey joke? Oh jeez. Alright, Polly, X scissor, it's gonna die now, because it just... Wait, this Mishana was 64. We fought one at 63, we were 68, we didn't want... Whatever, I'm, I'm gonna blame damage roll on that bullshit. Okay, can I not fight any more idiots? Stop doing laps, you danguses! Alright, Twisted Spoon, that'll boost Psychic-type moves. Stop this! This is not a gym! Oh my 
I going? Where am I going? What am I doing? Where am I going? What am I doing? Where am I going? What am I doing? Am I going this way, maybe? Let's try it. Let's try going this way. No. Actually, yes. That's that's it. That's where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go here. Maybe. Yes! Perfect! Because now, uh, over here, what, what item do we have here? We gotta revive. Uh, did this just loop me back to where I think it- No, it didn't. This is a completely- This is a completely different area. Okay, I don't even want to explore what's going on through here. But here we have- Ah! Boo! <laughs> Were you surprised? Oh, trainer who destroyed our castle. I was quite surprised. I was quite surprised by you. If you surprise them, both Pokemon and people leave themselves open. While they're in a state of surprise, they can't use their powers like they normally would. Our intention was to surprise people by making our castle appear and showing off the legendary Pokemon. At that moment, we planned to deeply impress people's hearts with the awesome power of Team Plasma and the brilliance of our new world. Now, when I've seen the strength of the spirit in you and gym leaders, I wonder how effective that strategy would have been after all. Maybe that strength of spirit is what's needed to take Pokemon to the next level? Hmm. I'm sorry to have wasted your time with this silly conversation. Take this with you. We get TM75 Swords Dance! As you know, Swords Dance, phenomenal move. Boost your attack by two stages. It's a great setup move. It works so well on some Pokemon. So I'll just say this. Every stage that you find, I guess I'll just spoil it now. They will give you a TM. And usually the TM is going to be a boosting move. So these are all very, very good TMs that you're going to get from these stages. My Lord Ed's dream. You were the one who put a stop to that. Please, don't ever forget that. To the rescue! I've been waiting for you. Ah! And now, about Team Plasma. I am an officer of the International Police. And there are so many things you must tell me at once! Lushana is set to appear here. It's dream this makes you see dreams, but they are nothing but illusions. The dreams you realize with your own abilities are the real dreams. Accept my thanks! Now, gets us notwithstanding, there yet remains but five of the seven edges still at large. What is it they are thinking? What it may, be, what it may be they are hoping? This is the information I pursue. Until we meet again! Away! <laughs> Godspeed, looker. Godspeed. <laughs> okay, one stage down, five more to go. So, our next destination is actually going to be... Let's go to Driftvale next. Now let's go to Driftvale City to find our next stage. And our next destination is the Cold Storage. Oh shit, I just realized. I just remember there are a bunch of trainers I haven't fought. <laughs> There's a bunch of trainers at the coal storage I haven't fought, and they're gonna be horribly underleveled. Maybe I can sneak past them. Maybe. I can't go through here again because, yeah, because that's, yeah, ice puzzles. Ice puzzles are stupid. Okay, turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around. Thank you. Perfect. Alright, so at the rate. Uh, no, I don't have to fight you again. Excellent. Alright, do this, this, this. <laughs> Feels weird going through this uh, coal storage again. I don't have to fight you. I already fought you, I know that. Like, I couldn't I couldn't escape you. But I'm just trying to remember, did I did I fight you? I don't remember if I fought you. Doesn't matter. Okay. So, we go through here. And look who it is. So, you returned. You're an odd trainer. Alright, I've got time enough to satisfy your curiosity. Breathing, having a heart that beats. That is simple existence and nothing more of a living being. That may be the definition of living, but I don't think that defines life. The experience of joy and suffering are a vital part of being alive. Getsa gave me the sensation of being truly alive. What did he mean to accomplish? That is what's important. Right now I'm shivering, I'm suffering, but I'm alive. Pokemon and people live by being together and relying on one another. That might be how you feel. If that's so, is it necessary to separate people and Pokemon? By talking to you, I've discovered that there's much I need to think about. I wish I had more to give you and thanks. Here, take this. TM01 Hone Claws! A, boosting, a brand new boosting move, actually. It boosts your physical attack and your accuracy, both by one stage. So it's helpful for Pokemon that have a lot of inaccurate physical moves. My Lord Anne said that he wanted to make Pokemon perfect. But even if the relationship between Pokemon and people stayed as it is now, Pokemon can aspire to perfection. Aha! 
Indeed, I am an officer of the International Police, and I demand to hear all that you know about Team Plasma. It's too cold that I'm already tired of shivering in here. If you give me some time to think, I'll tell you what I know. So take me with you. Thank you many times over. Now gets us notwithstanding there yet remains but form of the Seven Sages still at large. The thoughts they are contemplating, the hopes they are anticipating. These, these are what I want to know. Until our next meeting. Away! Godspeed, Looker. I will never get tired of doing your voice. I'm gonna have so much fun with Looker's voice when I do Pokemon Platinum. All right, our next destination is going to be, once I get the hell up out of here, uh, let's see. Our next destination is going to be Mr. Alton City. So let me get Will and let me fly back over to Mr. Alton City. Although technically with where we're going, we could just stay in Driftville City, but it, it gives us more, more distance to walk. And you know me, I like being lazy. So what we're gonna do is go back into Charstone Cave. I'm gonna slap a rappel up. Go ahead and do this over here. And what we wanna do is we wanna go to the basement floor of Chargestone Cave. And I just realized, again, there are trainers in the basement that I have not fought. <laughs> At least Team Plasma's gone. So that, that, that's a good thing. Uh, this is bringing back memories. Re remember, remember when we came here for the first time and I fought, uh, and I caught Carmine? <laughs> Those were the days, man. Okay, Let's see if I can skip some of these trainers. I don't remember where the Sage is though. Is he up here? No, this is, this is Bright Powder. It's an item for Ditto, which, yeah, I remember going over to it. It's an item for Ditto that I think, what does it do? I don't remember. Okay. I'm going to see if I can skip past you. Oh, nice. Uh, where's the Sage? Where is the Sage? Is he down here? I know he's on the, there he is. Perfect. There you are. When I saw you in Castelia, I did not care about your existence. Here in Chargestone Cave, Getz has tested your ability. Once more, we will test you to learn what it is you are. Team Plasma, come out! Whoa! Wait a second! Bronies of the Seven Sages, I will bring this kid down! Okay, I'm gonna be real, I don't remember this. I don't remember this battle. I seriously don't remember uh, fighting a team, whatever. Whatever, Polly's got this. Polly's out front, right? I don't remember if Polly's out front. Okay, he is. I was thinking of switching Kevin back out for him, but let's keep Polly out for this, because Polly does no Brick Break. But we're not even here, we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, can I get an Outrage? God, I forgot about it. Just step we're gonna be fighting Team Plasma Grunts. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I thought you idiots disbanded. I'm not even gonna question it at this point. Okay, Will, go. I'm gonna let you fly up in the air. You haven't done a lot of fighting at all. I've been neglecting Will way too much. I say this, and Jonathan's not even with us. So that's completely hypocritical. Compared to Jonathan, Will has not been getting neglected that much. Alright, Fly will hopefully one-hit kill. Scope Blend Super Luck. Scope Blend Super Luck, baby! There you go. And Will finally hits level 65. He's catching up. Alright. The strength that beat my Lord N. I see. It cut me to the bone. Are we fighting another one? This kid's the real thing! Because of you, I'm now x <laughs> Being an X doesn't sound cool, does it? That's a funny life. Being an X doesn't sound cool. No, it kind of doesn't. Okay, what are you, Al? You have three, and you have a light bird. You've got too many Pokemon. You've got three too many. Yeah, you have three too many, not two too many. You shouldn't have any Pokemon at this point. Polly, finish him. Her. All right, I'm thinking we might have time to find one more. No, no, no. I think at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to save the last three members for later. Because, again, there are other things I want to do. And to be honest, they coincide. The the, the last sages that we're going to be fighting coincide with the things that I want to be doing. So th this will be the last sage that we run into, really, to be perfectly honest. All right. Tony, Earthquake him. I'm not going to use my newly learned Stone Edge. It's not worth it because you're just weak to Earthquake as it is. This feels good now that we're finally overleveled. <laughs> now that we're, we're, we're higher leveled once again. All right. He's got one more Pokemon. What do you have? Have something weak. Okay, another life break. Kevin, go. We haven't had Kevin... No, Will. Will needs to fight, for the love of God. Will is way far behind. <laughs> Will and Carmine are just both incredibly far behind. I think fa uh, Facade. Return. Return will hopefully one-hit kill. All right. Don't, don't knock Will, man. Scope Lens plus... <laughs> Scope Lens plus Super Lark. <laughs> That strength that has protected the world which people in Pokemon live together. An next team Plasma member becoming an ordinary Pokemon trainer. This was that moment. 
The Pokemon of our Team Plasma are also fighting for their trainers. It was so obvious that I overlooked it. Thank you for reminding me of that. I'd like you to take this. TM69 Rock Polish, a very interesting move. It, it doubles your speed. It, it's like agility, except it's a move that, you know, slower Pokemon, rock type Pokemon can learn. So it's like an accessible agility. It's a more accessible version of agility for, I guess, rock types and other slower types. So it makes some Pokemon just, oof. It makes them a lot more useful. Pokemon do their best for their trainers, even when they're injured. I wonder whether my Lord Anne understands what that means. Guess who it is? The hero of the International Police. On the topic of Team Plasma, I'm an officer of the International Police, so you would be wise to share all that you know. Those who left Team Plasma are behaving with respect and understanding towards Pokemon. Them, please forgive. However, those who won't interact with Pokemon in a kind and honest way, even I will never forgive them. Truly, I thank you. Now, get us notwithstanding, there yet remains but three of the seven sages still at large. Their innermost thoughts, their uttermost hopes. <laughs> These I must and shall discover. Once more, a brief farewell. I must go! My people need me! <laughs> Godspeed, looker. Okay, uh, now I have to GTFO. Okay, what item is this? Is this- Ooh, another rare candy. Okay. I don't believe I have an escape rope yet. I may have to risk fighting this trail. Max repel. Max no, max repel. Don't want to run into any stupid things. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab this item really quick. And that's a hyper potion. That'll come in handy. That ace trainer's walking down that way, so we are in the clear to GTFO. And I think that's gonna be it. I just want to get those three sages. Because the other three sages are actually around things that I want to spend time going over myself. So. Once we walk out of Chargestone Cave, we're gonna cut it here. Next time, we're gonna go over the we're gonna go after the remaining three sages and actually take care of some stuff that are along the way. We're gonna be catching some Pokemon. I'll just say that much. So for now, we're gonna cut it here. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back with more Pokemon Black.